Welcome to the highlights for the Inventor 2025.1 update. Taking some feedback from the community, we've picked out our favorites and kept this one nice and concise. Do let us know which video format you prefer. I'm more than happy to go into every single one of our updates. Speaking of taking feedback, I'd also like to remind everyone to check out the Inventor Feedback community and get involved. It's a great place to get a sneak preview on what's coming and be invited to provide us with specific suggestions for Inventor. For most of these updates, you'll want to look for the orange dot in your Inventor interface to locate the specific changes. And don't forget to look for our new blog post with even more details of the update. In our latest release, we've made several valuable enhancements to the drawing section. Users can now conveniently access and modify eye properties from the parts list by merely right-clicking on the component. We've also incorporated a feature to open the related file directly from the ballooning, ensuring a consistent open behavior. Finally, we resolved a problem that occurred during the attachment of balloons to helix tubes, where the leader of the symbol was not properly attached to the view. Moving on to the sheet metal portion of the video, we've made it easier to create sheet metal parts and weldment assemblies as conventional parts and assemblies by adding sheet metal and weldment access points to the quick access tab, new dropdown. You'll also now be able to swiftly edit sketches for both face and cut commands via a browser node on the ever evolving property panel. Renaming of the sketch or editing the sketch are both easily accessible from here and will automatically switch your environment back and forth between feature and sketch. And to further enhance your in-canvas experience, we've introduced manipulators or HUDs for flange widths. This shows an up-to-date distance manipulator and preview. This is also reflected in the edit in place workflows. On to part assembly. When creating a new model state, I part, or I assembly, you now have the option to rename it immediately. We've unified access to the XLS settings file in whole, thread, and finish across all commands, making navigation easier and more connected. However, take note that this makes modifying the XLS files incredibly easy. So we suggest taking a minute to discuss modifying your company's standards with your end users. Speaking of threads, we know the importance of exact thread types. I think the feeling of cross-threading a bolt is something that haunts all of us. So we've made it possible to easily access this critical information on holes while you're examining any geometry. For added flexibility while assembling, or perhaps it's less flexibility. Either way, We've included a right mouse button option to constraints to uncheck the lock rotation status. And finally, recognizing the growing importance of STEP for manufacturing and collaborating, we've added support for marking feature geometries to be included in your STEP exports. I've made it through this entire video without saying efficiency. Well, now I can, because we've added a bunch of enhancements to improve your part design efficiency. You can now copy and paste multiple sketch blocks within the same document or from one file to another. It also works between folded and flat parts in the same document in the same manner. The thicken or offset feature has been updated to remember your last used parameters, even when you switch between parts. This allows users to set no preset, last use, or a custom preset as the default. And as a final bonus, double clicking allows you to edit end treatments for the frame generator right from the property panel. Phew, that was a good chunk of what you can expect from the 2025.1 update. We also threw a ton of updates to the API this release, as well as warning message updates, sketch menu options, default export options, and much more. These proved difficult to create video content for, but rest assured we're working on every aspect of Inventor to make it even more refined. It remains the product of choice for professional engineers everywhere, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more updates and check out the Inventor community linked below.